All right. Shalom, Yashirala, Shalom. Right here, once again, week in, week out, to prophesy the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great, and repentance to Israel. Israel being a people before a place, and no one else. But repentance is only for Israel. Right? The destruction of Babylon, aka Nineveh, aka Assyria, aka aka Babylon, aka Egypt, aka Sodom. Right? All praise and all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and teach on the well, who taught me this truth, taught us this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the whole family, pushing the truth and risking the whole life to the four corners of the earth. And to the awkward listening, listen and learning, sincerely and in truth, shalom. All right? I'm just gonna go into it. Right? Look at these heathen nations. Right? Yeah? Awestruck. Free. Yeah? Heavy free. Yeah, looking on us heavily, man. Right? Ishmael. Right? We're gonna go into it. We're gonna go into it. Right? We're gonna talk about the spirit world. We're gonna, wherever the spirit goes. Ecclesiastes 3. Verse 20. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 20, and it reads, All go into one place. All are of the dust. And all turn to dust again. Right? Where's that one place, man? The spirit world. The spirit world. It says here, all go into one place. Right? The wicked, the righteous. Right? Kings, princes. Right? Bond men, bond women, all go to one place. Right? You die, you return to the dust. Right? You die, you return to the dust. Right? And you go to the spirit world. Verse 21. Who knows the spirit of man that goes upward? Right? The, 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 the spirit world, the heavens, the spirit world, the fourth dimension, the spirit of men. Good and bad goes to, this, goes to the spirit world, the heavens. Right? And the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth, right? It's the, the beasts, beasts, animals. They, 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 they're, they're, they're not reincarnated. They're not in the spirit world, right? Beasts don't have, beasts don't, beasts don't have, beasts don't have thought, right? They don't have the spirit of the Mosai Yahweh Shem in them, right? So they go, they, 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 they perish, but they're not in the spirit world. With the spirits of men, spirits of women, spirits of men, right? But we all go to one place. Job chapter 3. Job chapter 3. Verse 11. The points in uh, 17. Verse 11. Why died I not? And this is Job complaining, lamenting, right? Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly, right? Why didn't I die? Why wasn't I still born, Lord? Why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breast that I should suck? For now should I have lain still and been quiet, right? Job was saying, I should have been still born, man. I should have came dead out of the womb. That's what Job was saying, right? I should have slept. Then had I been at rest. Rest. Where, where, where are the spirits at rest? In the spirit world, man. Okay? Reincarnation. Regeneration. Right? We rest. Every three, four generations we come back. Let's get it. Exodus 20. Right? For those that can receive it. Because this is a stumbling block. This is a stumbling block on, 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 on Jake. This is a stumbling block on, 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 on you two-thirds. This is a stumbling block on Wacky Tacky, Pastor Porkchop, Bishop Sausage. They can't receive this. Right? If you can receive this, chances are you are the elect. Exodus 20. Right? Because only the elect going to hear this song. Right? It's only the elect going to be stirred. Their minds are going to be stirred to remembrance. To remember something means you've known it once. 
Exodus 20, verse 5. And it reads, and this is the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Right? Other gods, idols. Right? The most high power is a jealous power. Right? Nor serve them. Right? You're not supposed to serve these idols. Moon gods. That's what that. Caesar Borgier. That's what. These Renaissance images and idols. Dead that. We're not supposed to bow down or none of that. Jake walking around here with uh, crucifixes around their necks. Right? Those are graven images. Those are idols. Right? I, the Lord, thy power, I'm a jealous power. Here's the point. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Right? We are, we are our forefathers reincarnated. Right? So we live out in this... For an example, we're living out our lives in this life, or we lived out our lives three, four generations ago, right? We perished, right? And then what happens? 1 Corinthians 5. It's either 1st or 2nd. I always mix them up. I think it's 5. 1 Corinthians 5. 2 Corinthians 5. I believe it's verse 20. 2 Corinthians 5. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10. And this is what happens. We go to the spirit world. We rest. Didn't we just read in Job? Let, let's read it again to refresh it. Job, Job 3, verse 13. For now should I have lain still and been quiet. I should have slept. I should have slept. Meaning died, perished. Didn't, didn't come forth the womb alive. Then had I been at rest. Right, rest in the spirit world. Right? 1 Corinthians 5, verse 10. And this is what happens when we're in the spirit world. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Right? So we die, we go to the spirit world, we stand before the throne of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and we get our judgment to play out when we are reincarnated, when we come back. Right? Reincarnation, regeneration. Let's get a scripture that supports that. It's in Ecclesiastes. The place of judgment. I saw under the sun the place of judgment. What's under the sun? This earth. Right? Wacky tacky can't receive this. It's over their head. Ecclesiastes. The water Yahweh Bashem Yashai Bashem Rakak Wadash. But it's knowledge, it's wisdom, it's understanding. Ecclesiastes. For I saw under the earth the place of judgment. It's uh, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun, right? The sun to the sky. Under the sun, this earth, this planet, right? Saw what? The place of judgment, right? Didn't we just read in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10? The things done on the earth. Let's read it again. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10. This is how we, we attach the scripture so it hit home. So it hits home. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Done where? On this earth. So we, re we regenerate, we reincarnate, and we come on this earth, and we, and, we, and we live out the judgment. Job 4 says nobody perish being innocent, right? So when we see children dying, right? Scripture say nobody perish being, being, being innocent. Where was the righteous cut off? Let's get it, I don't want to butcher it. Job, uh, Job 4, verse 7, and it reads, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. It's a question. Who perished being innocent? So when we see kids dying, they're paying for sins they committed in their past lives three, four generations ago. We read that in Exodus 20. The sins are visited upon the, upon the father, the children of the father, and the third and fourth generation. Right? 
So when we see children getting it, murk, you know, you see rest in peace candles out here, people crying, oh, it was just a child, or he was a good guy. You're paying for judgment. You're, 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 li you're living out your judgment. You're paying for your judgment, man. Right? Job 4, verse 7. Remember, I prayed thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Right, where were the righteous cut off, man? So we pay for our sins in our, in, in our incarnation, our reincarnation, the regeneration. Okay? Back into Job 3, verse 14. With kings and counselors of the earth, which built desolate places for themselves, right, the spirit world, or with princes that had gold, who filled their houses with silver, right? Job's going into an account of who's in the spirit world. Or as I hidden on time of birth, I had not been as infants which never saw light. Those that were still born, those that died as children. There the wicked cease from troubling, right? In the spirit world, the wicked ain't being wicked. They're in the spirit world. And there the weary be at rest. The weary, who are the tired? You see that? All praise to Yahweh Shem Shai. Rain. Right? Who are the weary? The Israelites. Right? Oh, let's get an account. You and I read this the other day. Uh, Samuel and the witch. Uh, Saul and the, wi and the witch. 1 Samuel 28. Right? And he was disquieted. He was angry because he was disturbed. He was brought up from the spirit world. Look at Eve running with her weave in the rain. That we... <laughs> That weave is done. <laughs> right? Right? She's running for shelter. 1 Samuel 28. It points in a... Uh, we're going to read verse 6. It points to 15. 1 Samuel 28 verse... Six, and when Saul inquired of the Lord, I'll cap Yahweh, the Lord answered him not, right? So the spirit was taken away from Saul. So when Saul was inquiring, Lord, Lord, the Lord, the Lord's not dealing with him, right? Saul's locked off these times, right? The Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by the prophets, right? The Urim and the Therm, the, 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 the priests, beginning with Aaron, they had the mantle on, which had the Urim and the Therm, and they were able to foresee, right? They were able to foresee things. Another scripture just came to mind. Right, here's an example of uh, uh, 1 Samuel 6, I believe. Or is it 8? Or is it 16? I think it's 16. 1 Samuel's, I think it's 16. Yep. 1 Samuel 16, verse, verse 4. And this is an example, right? So the Urim and the Therm was how the Mosiah communicated with his priests. Right? Today we have the cell phone. We can scroll and swipe. This is, this is the technology that the Mosiah, Yahweh, was dealing with with his prophets. Right? 1 Samuel 16, verse 4. And here's, and here's how fearful... People were when they saw the prophets. And Samuel did that which the Lord, Yahweh, spake and came to Bethlehem, right? So Samuel was directed to go to Bethlehem and give them a message, right? And the elders of the town trembled at his coming, right? The elders saw Samuel coming and they were shook. They were frightened. And they trembled, right? And said, comest thou peaceably, right? So these elders... They saw Samuel coming. They saw Samuel coming. And they wanted to know. They wanted to know. <laughs> does the Mosai have a, 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 a message of goodwill or destruction for us, man? Right? Right? And what are, what, what are the prophets out there doing today in today's world? Prophesying? Prophesying what? Destruction? Let's get that. Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me, right? And this is Jeremiah 
to the prophets before Jer Jeremiah, Isaiah. Right? Right? King David prophesied. Right? Elijah. Samuel. Right? Prophesied before me, Salakia, that have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? And that's what we're doing out here. Prophesying the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great. Letting, let, let, letting America, who, letting the two-thirds of our people know they'll be destroyed and the new fair destruction that's coming. Letting two-thirds of our people, crying out of spirit, not repent. But we're prophesying the destruction of this sinful kingdom. Right? Amos, eyes of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom. Amos 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Right? But where is the sinful kingdom? America the Great. Babylon the Great. Right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's a prophecy. Hasn't happened yet. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. I'll cap you. How, the house of Jacob. And who's the house of Jacob that won't be destroyed? The elect. The house of David. Lord willing, we are of that number. Back in uh, 1 Samuel 28, verse uh, 7. Then said Saul unto his servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her. Right, witchcraft. Saul was seeking out witchcraft, witches. Right, what does the scripture say about that? Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19. Yeah. Leviticus 19, verse 31. And it reads, Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them, I am Yahweh, your power. Right, so what was Saul doing here? Direct violation by seeking this witch. Right? Seeking divination. 1 Samuel 28, verse 7, once again. Then said, then said Saul unto his servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor, right? And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring thee him up, whom I shall name unto thee. Right, now we're going to jump down. So he's asking this woman, I want you to bring up Samuel. I need to ask Samuel a question. Right? Samuel's in the spirit world. He's dead. Down to 15. 1 Samuel 28, verse 15. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me? Right. To bring me up. Let's look at this word disquieted. Right? So Samuel is vexed. <laughs> Saul pulled him up out of the spirit world. Matter of fact, yeah, we're going to jump back. I want to I wanna make a point. Let's get this word disquieted. First Samuel 28, the word disquieted. Disquieted. Ragaz. Strong G87265. Strong's H7264. Ragaz. Ragaz. Right. Ragaz. To be agitated. <laughs> to be perturbed. 
can read to disturb, right? Saul was disturbed. He was at rest. Weren't we just reading in Job? They are at rest. So he's at rest, and Saul came and just roused them up through the witch, right? And Saul said, to, and Samuel said to Saul, "Why hast thou disquieted me? Disturbed me? Perturbed me? Right?" To bring me up, bring me up from where? The spirit world. And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and the Most High is departed from me. Right, for the Most High took the spirit from Saul. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hand of living power. Right, we pray daily, take not your Holy Spirit away from us, and cast us not away from your presence. A prayer of King David. Right, because it's a light thing for the Most High to take away his spirit from you. And then what? You're a bug out. So Saul was bugging out at this time. Bugging out. Right? The Most High has departed from me and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then Samuel, then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Most High, Yahweh, is departed from thee and has become thy enemy? Right? Why are you asking me for what the Most High wants to do? When it's clear as day, he's departed from you. He's taken his, he snatched his spirit from you. Right? And the Lord, Yahweh, hath done to him as he spake by me. For Yahweh hath rent the kingdom out of thy hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Right? So the Most High took the kingdom from Saul and given it to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of, the, of Yahweh, nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Right? You small hats. The chief house of Esau, Edom. You Amalekites. Therefore hath the Lord done his thing unto thee this day. Here's the point. Moreover, the Lord, Yahweh, will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. So Samuel was prophesying from the spirit world. Samuel's telling, Samuel's telling Saul, you're going to dead tomorrow. You and your sons. <laughs> They're going to dead off. Right? From the spirit world, man. Right? The Lord Yahweh also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Right? So Samuel was speaking from the spirit world, man. So all go to one place. Right? All go to one place. Right. I wanted to get something here. Uh, 1 Samuel 28, verse... 12. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. The witch, when she saw Samuel. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. Here's the point. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid. For what sawest thou? Right? What did you see? Right? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. She saw gods ascending, coming out of the earth, out of the spirit world, man. Right? So all. Good and bad is in the spirit world. Right? And we sit there at rest and we wait to come back to live out our judgment. Back in uh, Job, Job chapter 3, if you can receive it. Job 3, verse 17. There the wicked cease from troubling, the spirit world, and there the weary be at rest, the spirit world. There the prisoners rest together, the spirit world. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. So the oppressed and the oppressor are in the spirit world. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Right? So I'll go to one place, and we'll wait. We'll wait our, uh, our judgment. Let's get a scripture. Matthew 16. And this is red letter. Our Lord said this. Verily I say unto, unto you, he's talking to his disciples, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Right, what does that mean? Right, the last time we last time we looked and read, the disciples died. Yeah, I wish I was nailed to the cross. Let's read that again. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in His kingdom. Right, that's regeneration. The spirits of the prophets, the spirits of the disciples, they're back. See, I wish I was telling the disciples, 
There will be some standing here, your spirits, that will be on the earth, will be on the earth when I return. Let's back that up. Uh, Job 9, is it 9? Where's it 15? Or is it 16? 19. Job 19! Verse 25. This is Job speaking. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, Yahweh Shai, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Plain is that we could close the book right there. Yahweh Shai will stand at the, la at the latter day. You're going to come and deliver Israel. Israel being a people before a place. Right? And though after my skin, worms destroy this body. Right? When you die and you go into the grave, the worms eat your body. This is Job speaking. Yet in my flesh shall I see the Most High. So the spirit of Job is back. He'll be in the flesh. The spirit will be in another body. He will see the Most High power. Plain as day. Verse 27. Whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. Job is going to see the end of days. Job is going to see the destruction. Right? Though my reins be consumed within me, right? So Job, the spirit, Daniel, let's get that in Daniel. So when Yahweh I said there be some standing here today that shall not see death, what was he talking about? Reincarnation. Daniel 12. Plain as day, if you can receive it. Two thirds are people out there. These are stumbling block, stumbling block scriptures. Job, uh, so, so like it. Daniel 12, verse 13, and it reads, But go thy way, Daniel. This is the, this, this is the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, speaking to Daniel. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest, right, in the spirit world. You're going to die and you're going to go to the spirit world. And then what? And stand in thy lot at the end of the days. You're going to be back on the back on the earth in your lot. What does it mean to be in your lot? If you're a prophet in the past world, you're a prophet today. That's what that means. So Daniel's standing in his lot. You don't know he's Daniel, but he's somewhere out here prophesying. Standing in his lot at the end of days. Isaiah. 34, verse 17. Let's back it up. And it reads, And he hath cast a lot, right, the lot, the portion, who you are in this life, who you are in your past life, right? And he hath cast a lot, for them, and his hand had divided unto them by line, right? The prophets, they got a portion. They got a portion, and they run with that portion. No prophet's work is the same, right? That's why Isaiah had bigger books. Isaiah and Jeremiah had super large books. Obadiah had one book. Jude had one book, right? They shall possess it forever, from generation to generation, so they dwell therein from generation to generation, each lifetime, right? Each lifetime, right? Plain as day. Let's get uh, 1 Peter 1, verse 21. These scriptures are beautiful, man, the way they line up. Here a little, there a little. First Peter, is it First Peter? Second Peter, Slakia. Second Peter 2, verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right. The Most High puts the Spirit on, them, on his prophets and they speak. Right. That's them coming back in their life. Right. 
right? This truth, this truth coming out of you, if you have the gift to speak, it's a gift. Let's get that in our Corinthians. The water y'all be shooting outside. Let's get that in Corinthians. Right? For this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, Corinthians 3, yeah, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 27, now ye are the body of a Mashiach and members in particular. And the Most High hath set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? No, they're not. Are all prophets? No, they're not. Are all teachers? No. Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healings? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? but covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. So, right, so whatever your gift, your gift is, you work it, man. You work the works, right? The Most High gives, gives gifts. Right, a scripture came to mind. And I, uh, Lord willing, we'll come back. Scripture, scripture came to mind, and as quick as it came to mind, whoop, I should have just hold the scripture when it came to, but then I would have forget what, where, where was I was going. Let's go to uh, Revelation 10 and 11. John, right? As far as we know, John, oh yeah, I remember now. Let me hold it first. Revelation 10 and 11, let me hold this one. John 9, that's what came in there. The water, y'all, but she knows shot. Hold that on John 9. Revelation 10, verse 11, right? More reincarnation scriptures, man. It's all over the Bible. Revelation 10 verse 11. Now, according to secular history, right, and according to the scriptures, according to secular history, the apostle, the apostle John died on the Isle of Patmos, right? Revelation 10 verse 11. Verse 10. And I took the little book, John the apostle, out of the angel's hand, right, this word, this truth, and ate it up, ate the whole roll, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, Right? When you first come to this truth, it's sweet. You want to tell everybody, it's sweet. But then the bitter comes in, right? And as soon as I had eaten it, digested it, received this word, it, 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 my belly was bitter, right? The truth becomes bitter, man. You learn that you come into this truth, you got you, you to gotta, you gotta be afflicted, right? You learn you come to this truth, you, 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 you learn that it's a bitter solo walk. Right, let's get that. And we'll come back in Revelation 10. The book of Sirach, chapter 2. Right, this is going into the bitter. Right? We got a lot of Jake out here today, man. Jake's everywhere, though. Sirach 2 verse 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right? It's a hard walk. Set thy, set thy heart aright, your mind, and constantly endure, endure these afflictions, and make not haste in time of trouble. Right? That's part of the bitter. Right? Hey, if you're in this truth, if you're in this truth in a smooth sailing, you gotta ask yourself if the Lord is dealing with me, man. 
right? What does it say in Hebrews 12? It says, uh, who the Lord chasteneth, our sons. Let's get that. Hebrews 12, I believe it's verse 6. No, Salaki. Hebrews 6. Hebrews 6. Hebrews 12, verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Right? If the Lord dealing with you, he's going to beat you up, man. He's going to beat you up. Chastening means to beat, strike, correct. Right? And scourge it. Scourge it means to beat every son whom he receiveth. Right? Whom he receiveth. You, 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 you receive this truth, you're being received by the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, If you receive this truth. Right? In sincerity and truth. So you're going to go through it. That's part of the bitter. Right? If ye endure chastisement, Salakia, if ye endure chastening, the most ideal is with you, as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chastens not? Right? So if you're not getting beaten in this thing, man, you, you gotta do, you gotta do a, 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 some soul searching. You gotta look into it, man. Why is the Lord not beating me? Right? Revelation 10 verse 11. And he said unto me, John, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Right? Did John leave the Isle of Patmos? No. He didn't leave the Isle of Patmos. So he's in his lot. Came back as a prophet. Here, came back as a prophet. And prophesied. Right? Came back in his lot. But we believe Abba Bivens was John the Baptist, who was Elijah. Let's get that. Matthew 11. Elijah is John. Matthew 11. Right, yeah, these wacky tackies, wacky tacky can't deal with these scriptures. The water Yahweh Shimei Al Shai Bashim Kadash. Wacky tacky can't receive or understand reincarnation. And it's plain as day. Revelation 11, oh, Salakia. Matthew 11. Verse 12. Red letter. Our Lord said this. Our Lord said this. Yahweh Shai. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence taken by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, Elijah, which was for to come. Yahweh straight said, cold cut said, Elijah is done. Matthew 17. Matthew 17, verse 11. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, his disciples, Elias, who's Elijah, truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you, that Elias, Elijah, is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Here's the point. Verse 13. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. We just pulled two scriptures of Yahweh Shai saying, John the Baptist was Elijah. Right? We just read in Revelation 10 verse 11, you must come again and prophesy before kingdoms and nations, right? Let's fast forward to Abba Bivens, Malachi. Abba Bivens was, was Elijah. Elijah was, Elijah was John. Malachi 4, verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, right? Before the destruction, man. Right? Elijah the prophet, we believe, was Abba Bivens. He was the first to bring this truth in the mid-60s. We are all the fruits of Abba Bivens. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers, the minds, to the children, and the heart of the children, the minds of the children, to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. And what's that curse? The missiles. 
right? The missiles. John 1 verse 21. The scriptures are beautiful, man. Oh, this is going into John the Baptist not knowing, because you don't know. You don't know who you are. You don't know. So these are, the Jews sent priests, verse 19. And this is the record of, this is the record of John. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? Right, the Jews sent priests and Levites to ask John the Baptist, who are you? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not Hamashiach. And they asked him, what then? Art thou Elias? Elijah. And he said, I am not, right? Because you don't know. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, no. Then said they unto him, who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of, Yah of Yahweh Shai. And said the prophet Isaiah, right? Isaiah said, Isaiah said that in uh, 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 chapter 40. The precept should be here beside it. Isaiah 40, verse 3. Yeah. Let's get that. The scriptures are beautiful, man. And they line up. Here, the, here a little, there a little. Right? Here a little, there a little. Isaiah 40, verse 3. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our power. Right? This was Isaiah prophesying of John. Right? Let's get more proof that the, apostles, the, the, the disciples understood reincarnation. Right? We have to understand something. This is the first captivity that we are in as Israelites where we don't know who we are, man. We don't know who we are. We have no knowledge, no wisdom, no understanding. John 9, verse 1. Right? And this is proof that the, 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 our forefathers, our forefathers, because we are our forefathers, for, forefathers, reincarnated in this lifetime. This is proof they knew about reincarnation. John chapter 9, verse 1. And as Yahweh Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. How you doing, man? Hi. How you doing? How are you guys doing? You reading the Bible? Yeah. You see yourself on this chart? Where? Do you see yourself on this chart? I don't see myself, but let me see. Where are you from? I'm from Uganda. Uganda? Okay. Is that, that's I'm sorry, I came to apologize. I was wondering what you were doing. Oh, okay. And I was telling my kids something, but then I realized you're reading the Bible. Yeah, we're reading the Bible. Then I'm like, that's God's word. I need to go and apologize and tell you guys you're doing a good job. Oh, okay, okay. Preaching the word, you know? Keep we're preaching. Here, we're, we're, here to, we're here to prophesy the destruction of America. And the return of our Lord, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. The world, the world ignorantly calls him Jesus. That's not his name. Yeah. His name is Yahweh Shai. Meaning but, he delivers, he saves. Yeah, but it's okay to prophesy against doom. But also it's good to, I call it to, God was deliverance of his people. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus died on the cross. He, he, only came, he only came for one set of people though. He didn't Sorry? go for everybody. He only well, came for the Israelites. He came, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. He said, you will preach even to the Gentiles. <laughs> you see, but you see, yeah. you're saying that without understanding. No, 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 no. Let's not argue about it. Remember when Jesus was carrying the cross, the man who helped Jesus to carry the cross was who? Simeon. Where was he from? S a Cyrene. Ethiopia. Right? He was he a was troll a man. He, 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 he was an Israelite. And the wife Moses married was from where? M Moses? Yeah. Okay, Moses' Moses' wife was a Midianite. He was from Ethiopia. Right? And his sister Miriam and Aaron were blaming him. Right, I know that scripture, Numbers so, 11. When we look at Jesus, Jesus came for Yahweh everybody. Shai. He came for everybody. I'm going to, I'm, can I read you something? Let, uh, I'm going to go, but I just want to thank okay, you. Okay, before you go, I'm going to read you this. Yeah. All right, I'm going to read you one thing. Isaiah 45. Wait, wait. Isaiah 45. Verse, uh, verse 17. And it says, but Israel, Israel being a people before a place shall be saved in the Lord. The Lord's name is Yahweh. Meaning he meaning he exists. The son is Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers, he saves. With an everlasting salvation. So who's that salvation? How will he get redeemed? Through his son Yahweh Shai, right? Ye shall not be afraid, ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded, world without end. So he, right now he's showing you separation. He's only coming for the Israelites. 
Only the what? Israelites. No. The, Gentiles, the Gentiles in the New Testament that Paul went after, they were Israelites. They were scattered. James 1 and 1. They were the children of the diaspora. They didn't know who they were. Right? So, so Paul had to go and preach the word to the Gentiles who were scattered. What who promise, were strangers. What promise did God give to Abraham? Let him wait. His seed shall, his seed, his seed shall, his seed shall, his, in his seed shall be blessed. You're going to Galatians. I know where you're going. It, I know where you're going. In the beginning, he promised Abraham to right. have the seed. When he took him from worshiping idols, he said, I will bless you. And when the children of Israel ended up in Egypt, they spread even in Africa. Where I come from, I believe I'm attached to Israel. Because they got married and they went south on the Nile, mm -hmm. ending up even in Uganda, in the Congo. So we don't know our origin, but at one time, when you look at the Bible, we came from one man, and we shall go back to one man. And Uganda and Congo is on the west coast of Africa, right? East Africa. East Africa. Yeah. You know where most of do you know where most of the most of the Israelites ended up? Where? They came from Jerusalem, and they ended up in the west coast of Africa. The west coast. They fled. What were they fleeing from? They were fleeing from 70 A.D. 70 A.D. was when Titus, the emperor, surrounded Jerusalem, surrounded it, starved them out, and then he went in there and killed him. Those that got away, and that was the Roman Empire that did that. Those that got away, they all fled into the into the west coast of Africa. But you believe okay. God is God of love, God of love. God, God, God is balanced. His name's Yahweh. He's balanced. But do you know he's God of love? Do you know he hates? No, 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 no. Do you believe he's a God of love? You, do you believe he hates? He hates. He's jealous. Okay, but he, but he hates. Yeah, but it's a okay. God of love. <laughs> balance. <laughs> balance. Okay, I come from Africa. Yeah. I, I was, guess what? I was telling people. James 101. Yeah. James, the servant of the Most High, and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Scattered. You look at that word scattered, it means diaspora. Even you, you're a member of the tribes. You know that. Benjamin. No, you are all of us. Everybody, when we go to heaven, if you get revelation, that's God to ask you. Everybody has a get assigned to him. Everybody. White, black, they have a gate assigned to them. Those are the 12 gates. The next thing I want to tell you, Those are I the 12 come, tribes. Yeah, the 12 tribes. 12 tribes, you have your gate. When the yeah, we, we each have our tribe, yeah. Okay. White, black. So, uh, white, white people can't be saved. So called white they people. They win. They're the Edomites. Ah. They're the Edomites. I, I don't want to believe that. They win. They win. They win. Which one? Romans 9. Romans 9. They win. Let's saying. not prefer, prophesy doom because we don't know, but they win. Okay, I'm going to leave you with two scriptures. Yeah. Romans 9. And then I'm going to grab Psalm 139. Okay? So first I'm going to go to Romans 9, verse 13. And then I'm going to go to Psalms, Psalms 130. Psalms 139. Okay, do you believe do you do, do you believe King David was of, of the Lord's heart? Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Gonna I'm gonna open with that first. Psalms 139 verse 21. This is King David speaking. Yeah. Right. Of the Lord's heart. Yeah. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. He hates anything that's contrary. King David is saying he hates those that don't keep the laws. Those that look at the wicked kingdom that we live in. A man could pre a woman could preach in a church. That's not scriptural. Uh, gay, gay, gay couples can, pre can, be, wait, wait, wait. can be members of a church, right? So what King David is saying here is he hates those things. Yeah. He hates those things. Now I'm going to go to Romans 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, who are the Israelites, twelve tribes that fled into that fled out of fled out of Jerusalem and ended up. All throughout Africa, predominantly in the West Coast, right? The 12 tribes, the Northern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, uh, so, sorry, the Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Our Lord comes from Judah. So the tribes, of the, the, the Judahites are the Negroes that arrived in America through slavery. The Benjaminites are the Negroes that arrived in the West Indies through slavery. Yeah, yeah. Levi is the Haitians, right? So what, what the Lord is saying here is he loves Jacob, who are the Israelites, and he hates Esau, who's the Edomites. Who rules this world? Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah, but let me They tell rule you, this world. My brother, let me tell you this. Yeah. You know, I don't want to preach anything. Mm -hmm. I have a friend. Mm -hmm. At one time, when I was a Christian, mm -hmm. I hated gays. Mm -hmm. But when I started suffering, mm -hmm. the church I went to, we are Christian, mm -hmm. didn't take care of me. Mm -hmm. It was a man who told me, I'm a gay. Mm -hmm. 
and he supported me even with my family today. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Why did God choose this man to help me? Even mm -hmm. up to now, nobody in the church I go to would help me. Mm -hmm. And God started revealing to me, mm -hmm. like the church has gone away from its original cause. Mm -hmm. They even bring in the church people do rituals. Mm -hmm. But even the church, you will find the pastor's wife mm -hmm. is having Jezebel spirit and the power of Jezebel mm -hmm. is the pastor using, is laying hands on you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. The water spirit, people going the water spirit calling, they go to church but they are using water spirit mm -hmm. here in Canada. Mm -hmm. They use water spirit in church. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, God, what should we do? Mm -hmm. Those are all idols. We yeah. worship Yahweh. Yeah, but this is in church. So Levit Leviticus 19, verse 22. Right? Actually, I want to tell you one of the things. Mm -hmm. We blacks. We're not black, God. we're Israelites. We are Israel, but some blacks from Africa. Mm -hmm. You see the blood worshiping, that's people shooting with the guys. Mm -hmm. That's blood. That's Jesus' one. blood was enough. But because people got idols, mm -hmm. they are sacrificing idols, idols. through blood. Right. And idols. that's a ritual. Right. And, and it's, usually the, it's usually the sons of Ham that are doing that, the Hamites. Of recent, do you know what? The black shooting, when somebody is killed, mm -hmm. there are people who have power who are not blacks. They go at the, where somebody has been shot, mm -hmm. and they get the power of those, and they used to attack the right. white. I'm like, no. I prayed and counseled. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. you can't do that. Back to what you're saying. Covered with the blood of Jesus, but there are people who are black. But he only came. Doing that, like, oh, you are fighting us. But he you only came. Do juju and send it back to you. Yeah, but like, you see. No. But you see, okay, let me get something for you. Number twenty-three. Yeah. Because those things exist, but the Lord gives us. We we brought it out earlier. The Lord gives us specific instructions, specific instructions not to mess with enchantments and divination. That's all that is. Idolatry, right? Number twenty-three. Numbers twenty-three, verse twenty-three. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, Israelites. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Yeah. Right, so we know there's there's witchcraft. Yeah. We know that. Witchcraft. And you right. know what's happening here in Toronto? A lot it, of witchcraft. Let me tell you, it happened through Muslims using the, their own. They're Indians and Africans. That's the strong for. Like, they are fighting against each other. Mm -hmm. Like, the Muslims will do their dua mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. okay? They do their duas at night. They even get what they are called. Be gene. I don't know if you know the be gene, mm -hmm. the water spirits to say. Mm -hmm. And actually, they are trying to target Africa because Africans have strong powers. Mm -hmm. Okay? But to mm -hmm. me, I'm telling you, our God is God of love. God wants yeah. everyone, no. everyone to be saved. Yeah. Okay, let me let me read something to you. That's what God wants. No, he doesn't. Let me tell you one thing, my brother. John 3, if verse 16. Judge, if you're a judge, mm -hmm. what judge? point would you sacrifice your son on the cross? If you don't love the creation you created and you give, because they used to do animal sacrifice, God said it's enough. My son is here, and God is God of love. And Jesus said, You are forgiven. He doesn't Acts. say only the blacks. He said, anybody who confesses that Acts. Christ is God, he is forgiven. And let's preach a gospel of Acts, love. Acts 5, verse 30. Yeah. I'll read 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High, who is God. Rather than men, I'll read it verbatim. Rather than men, the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, who is Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins to Israel. Plain as day. Israel is not tribes. Well, yes, but it doesn't include these other nations. It doesn't include, it doesn't include the Edomites. Edomites can't be saved. That position, brother, this is our, let's make it basic. We are making religion so hard for others. John 1, Psalms? Psalms, yeah. Psalms 147, God, verse 19. God, God is a God of love. Make it basic. It is not he's a judge. He's a judge. When you go to heaven gates. The chief judge. Yeah, he's a judge. He's going to say, come in. I saw your heart. Come in. I saw your heart. Okay. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. His statutes and the judgments unto Israel. He only gave his law, statutes, and commandments to the Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. The so called indigenous, the so called Latino, the so called Negro. So called, because they're Israelites. He only, he only gave his law, statutes, and commandments to them. Right? He hath not dealt so with any nation, no other nations. Edomites, the, 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 who rules this world, the, who in the Bible they're the wicked. Right? And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. You only came for Israel. Do you know who the wicked are according to scripture? Yeah. Who are the wicked? Who are they? The wicked, the wicked is the so-called white man, according to scripture. 
No, 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 no. It's how we twisted the scriptures. Twisted? God is a God of love. He's, he ever, if, they, if he created the heaven and the earth, and he said everything in the earth belongs to God. Even the, the living, you know, you see, you go to Isaiah, Isaiah 27. What does he say? Which one? Isaiah 27. First Corinthians what? First Corinthians 12, 1 and 2. This is the final goal. You go to Isaiah 27 and see. Oh yeah, that's God the one says, you've given away the dumb idols, right? No, look at Isaiah 27, God's promise. Yeah. And it's coming soon. Wait, because Come to me, yeah? people have used power like the snakes. You know, they sent me snakes. Some of them had to fight them in this country. Okay. They sent me water spirits. I had to fight them. And God said, somebody said, you come to water spirit and worship. I'm okay. like, no. First Corinthians 12, verse 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Gentiles. Yeah. Scattered Israel. I read James 101, the strangers yeah. scattered yeah. of the 12 tribes. That's the Gentiles Paul was talking to. Because there's yeah. two meanings for Gentiles. There's the Gentile heathen nations, the other nations. There's the Gentile heathens, and then there's the Gentile ah! Israelites. The Gentile Israelites, those that didn't know they're Gentiles, uh, that didn't know they're Israelites. It all happened during the Hellenization of the Jews, during the Greek rulership, Alexander the Great, under Antiochus. It's, uh, have, you ever, have, you ever read the, have you ever read the Apocrypha? Which the Apocrypha? The Apocrypha. Which was in the Bible. No, no, no. It was in the Bible. Right? Yeah. It's originally in the Old Testament. It was taken out. It was taken out by the Catholic Church. Yeah. So if you read the Apocrypha, right? First Maccabees, it goes into it. It tells you what happened to the Jews. They were forced to not circumcise the children no more. No more sacrifice. Um, um, they couldn't keep the Sabbaths anymore. They had to sacrifice pig, they had to eat pork. All those things. And over the course of hundreds and hundreds of years, they forgot who they were. That's who Paul was speaking to. So here it says, ye know that ye were Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, scattered, carried away unto these dumb idols, other religions, other other uh, uh, other practices, sacrificing to, 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 to other deities, other gods, right? Even as ye were led. So the Apostle Paul was talking to the Gentile Israelites, yeah. the ones that are scattered. Nobody else. Amos, Amos 3, oh, let me get this for you. So what's your conclusion about Africa? The Negroes, I know, I know these right? The niggers, a lot of, a lot, there's, there's, there's Israelites all over Africa, but there's also, there's also Hamites all over Africa. Yeah, but it's the spirit. What do you, if you think if about you, love? What do you think about God's love? Because this one I want to tell you, what, what, He doesn't love everybody. I, I'll tell you it's straight. It's not I, I, choice. Can you tell whom he loves and whom he doesn't love? I'm showing you who he loves and who he doesn't love. No, 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 brother. I, I like him doing like that. I was telling my kids again. Uh, mm -hmm. Like when you see anybody, we don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't no. know who is who. And we're coming into evil times. Yeah. Yeah. Evil but times. Evil has always been there and will always right? be there up to the end. Oh, a time like but, no other. But one of the things I want to tell you, my brother, mm -hmm. and I like what you're doing, mm -hmm. but preaching God with love. You know when, which, when Jesus died on the cross, yeah, I wish I, yeah. when Continue. he was on the cross, mm -hmm. I just read to you who he died. I just read to you who he died for. Yeah, no, no, see. But if you can't receive I, that, no, no, no. we could go back and forth all day. No, 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 no. For me, I'm a Christian. Yeah. I'm a Christian. Yeah. I don't have to boast about it. But when God showed me, Do you know where Christianity was born from. Let me tell you. When yeah. God showed me, I was going through hard time. I used to get to come and work here, and the police car would rotate around me yeah. to frustrate me. That's part of the curses. And, and God told me, pray for them. There are some good police officers, but there are some bad police officers. And they will even documentate me like I have a mental problem. Do you know when I started praying, God told me the three police officers were chasing you? They are now mentally sick. Pray mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted you to look mentally sick. Mm -hmm. Then God started showing me, even me to want to things that we are going through. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, God. Those are part of the curses. You know, God then forgive them. Even I was going to a church and God told me, leave that church. You see what they're doing? Go to another church. Can I read something to and you? And people think I had mental problems. I'm going to read something to you. You're not supposed but to pray for everybody. God, God is a God of love. And he wants us to redeem all mankind through his own power. He's only, he only came for the Israelites. And if you're Israelites, he came for you. And he came for your but children. But how do you know? How the do spirit. You know? The spirit bears witness. But, you know, 31, one to three. God's love is like rain, okay? Right. When it rains, it doesn't choose Israel's house a uh, pagan. Mm -hmm. It's our job to say, we don't know the end, mm -hmm. but here is God's love to everyone. That's what we are called for, my brother. Jeremiah 31, verse 1? 1, right to 3. Jeremiah 31, 31, verse 1. At the same time, said the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus said the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. 
the Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. He only loves Israel. Yeah, but let me tell one thing. For me, I, I don't want to contradict what you say. Maybe that was your revelation from Amos God. 3, verse 2. <laughs> you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. We're only only Israelites under the curse. Jeremy, Jeremy, start from there, please. Okay, Jeremy. Yeah, that's yeah. And we're, 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 I want to tell you he's recording this preaching. Mm -hmm. But you know, let me tell one thing. Mm -hmm. If you're a God of love, do you if you saw somebody on the street there, either white or black or red, mm -hmm. and he's going through torment, Spiritual torment. <laughs> would you say like, oh, that's God's punishment? I know what this. Oh, would you would you go and pray for them? Say, God deliver this man, because Lord, God has given you power to deliver. The Lord does everything. The Lord, it's, it's the Lord's will. If someone's sick, you want me to want me to show you? Wait. Want me to show you? No, I know you call a deliverer and pray for them. But at that Kill moment, <laughs> look at this. Deuteronomy 32 verse 39. I'm going to read three scriptures. Deuteronomy 32 verse 39. And this is the, the Lord is no he doesn't play around. Deuteronomy he, he's he's a Lord he's a Lord he's a jealous power yes you, you said that and he and he does and he's a, a Lord of balance a God of balance. Deuteronomy 32 verse 39 and it reads, See now that I even I am He the Lord he's talking about Himself and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So whatever judgment happens, it's the Lord's judgment. Yeah. The churches don't talk about these scriptures. The church teaches about uh, prosperity, pray for something bigger, pray for a house, my brother, pray for too. this. I like what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I, I was like that. Mm -hmm. I felt, I wished doom for mm -hmm. people who are teaching, who are painting me. For, and God said like, pray, pray for your black people who are being mistreated. Pray, <laughs> well, pray. Slip in my mind, pray not for the these thing, people. One of the things, mm -hmm. I'm listening. Let me say, like one of my sisters, when I was asking God, why can't you come back? God said, if I was to come back today, mm -hmm. your sister would miss heaven. I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I continue missing I'm like, why would my sister miss heaven? Yeah. And so God said, discussing with me, then I said, you pray for other people. Because I said, the end of the world, it's true. You and I, if we end up in heaven, we're not going to be happy. But we see our brothers Where's heaven? Where's heaven? The Bible says heaven is in our heart. The kingdom of God is in our heart, but heaven is also the, a place in the sky. Where spiritual we don't world, know. Fourth, fourth dimension, Sp yeah. spiritual, spiritual but world. The kingdom of God is established in heaven, but also in our heart. Heart. on earth as it is heaven. And yeah. you missed a call. And, yeah. the, and the kingdom go of God. Go check that out. Here. I'm fine. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. Jeremiah 14, verse 10. Thus saith the Lord unto this people. And he's talking about those, he's talking to Israelites here, but yeah. those that refuse to, okay, yeah, the, the Lord's only dealing with us. Well, we're having a conversation right now, and you're saying he's for everybody. And I'm, I'm showing you through scripture that he's yeah. not, right? Yeah. Thus said the Lord unto this people, thus have they loved to wander. Wander, they, his people loves to wander after everything but him. Every other gods, uh, uh, graven images, crucifixes, all kind of stuff, right? Right? They have not refrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord doth not accept them. So if you're running after those, those, those beliefs, the Lord's not going to accept you. He will now remember their iniquities and visit their sins. What sin? You know what sin is? Sin anything that is not right before God. Sin is transgression of the law. John, first John, first John three and four, if I'm not mistaken. Sin is I'm not going to go with my son. Go, okay, that's what just got here. Then said the Lord unto me, pray not for this people for their good. So my point is, when people you know, if, if if they're contrary to the Lord's ways, the Lord says don't pray for them. But yeah, I just wanted to share what no, I do. We're always here. There are two things. I believe in love and forgiveness. Yeah. The Lord loves his people. Yeah. And you're an Israelite. Yeah. You're an Israelite. And he loves you. Yeah, but also, yeah, what are you doing? We are going, no, I was just talking. Tell me, get up, please. <laughs> you're filming something? Uh, yeah, you're just preaching. Just preaching. Oh. But I don't laugh. Yeah. Let me tell you, my brother, in your preaching, I don't laugh. Yeah. We are saved because of God's love. John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world. Yeah. Right? Do you know what that word world means? Jeremy, you know, I don't want you to that write word, world is cosmos. There's three meanings for world in the Bible. I don't want to go that extreme, uh, but okay. I just want to have the basics of love. I'm giving you the Let's basics. Go. Because remember the woman caught in idolatry? Where are you? Yeah. Let's go. Because yeah. I sat down, we are having, here yeah, the kids guys I'm finding, I like people that are when, when the woman was caught in idolatry, mm -hmm. these so-called the Pharisees, 
They were so critical. Yeah. 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 Very critical. Mm -hmm. Ready to kill this innocent mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. Their story, their stories about yeah, Susanna like Jesus that too. goes down, he kneels down. Why does he go down to yeah. kneel? And right now, everyone sings. He's, he's praying. He's writing out he their sins. God, and he said, who you sins past the first stone? First yeah. stone. Eventually, he tells them. Jesus said, you know what? If none of you has ever seen, be the first to stop. You only came for Israel. John 3, 16, the word is cosmos, and it's not world. There, there's three meanings for world. There's eon, meaning a time, a period. There's world, there, there's there's oikimeni, meaning the inhabitants of the earth, the entire earth. So you mean if you came only for Israelites, only we don't know. I just say it talks about the Gentile, fast for the Israel, even the woman who Israel's, said, Israel, the Jews who know the woman who say, even the dog, yeah. it, it's somewhere, the even the, the dog. The woman at the well. Yeah, the, no, there's another woman who say, even the dog, at his master's feet, right. longs for the crops. Right. Longs then for the crops. Woman, did do, you, I say, do you understand woman, what that means? Your, your faith has made your own. Do you know what because that? Do you, he was inviting him in the kingdom of God. All right. Even that woman was an Israelite. You know what Jesus told the Israelites? Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have said that to her. You she know what he Israelite. told the Jews? The Jews were like, if you deny me, I'll look. The banquet. You remember the banquet? Have you read about the banquet? Yeah. Whereby he invited the people in. Yeah. Who that's, he came for. That's what we're doing and right now. And they were now. saying, no, no. Yeah. Beat them to what the what happened? Beat them to the marriage. He went to the street to get the other ones. That's what we're doing right now. So, Beating to the marriage. Yeah, but I don't love. The highways you and know, the hedges. The prophets. We're extending, we're extending our love to, to you as Israelite. No, to everyone. And you have to understand his name is Yahweh and his son is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, but. And he only came for you. When you're preaching, I did the one. For me, I just want to love. Because judgment, you see like prophet of dooms, like Amos. Yeah. Jeremiah during that time. Actually, Jeremiah yeah. wasn't a prophet of doom. He was a prophet, prophet of enlightenment. But Jeremiah. the people that time wanted to confine him. Jeremiah 28 verse 8. Yeah. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, all prophets, yeah. prophesied both against many countries. That's what we're doing now. We're prophesying against the system, against America, right? And against great kingdoms, yeah. America. Listen. Which America war, are you talking about? Of war. Canada and America. Oh, yeah. this, this is all America. Yeah. Of prophesied of prophesied against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. What do you think about what Biden is doing for the blacks? <laughs> Everything that's happening is prophecy. Yeah. You see, Israelites suffered in Egypt. Right now what they're... Let me tell you the whole story. Right now what they're... When they were I, I know, I know, Egypt, I know, you don't have, went, you don't have right to teach me, I know. Right now when Biden came into office... All I gotta, say, like before, all I gotta say before you leave is this. Yeah. What they're doing right now is to bring in the mark of the beast. Do you know what the mark of the beast is? I yeah. don't know. Revelation 13 verse 16. Yeah, what's the Want mark? me to read it to you? Or do you want me to tell you what it is? You tell me. The mark of the beast is how they're gonna is how they're gonna transact all transactions are gonna be under this new system. The mark of the beast is a microchip, which they're gonna insert into your body. Yeah. Causing no man a small and great to buy or sell. That's what this is all happening. The next thing that's gonna happen by fall, I'm gonna leave you with this, because no. I know you gotta go. By fall, you're gonna see there's no food out here. That's what's coming next. Yeah. Famine, great famine. No, no, no. Great I, famine. I was showing my wife this uh and when and when you know left behind movie left behind yes yeah go watch it okay whatever the man played before it's happening but god in his own power he has the choice and he's gonna take them away it won't happen like oh we don't need to fear if you have confessed christ before you I'm god has the power to say these are my people don't play with me only israel is looking forward to <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna yeah, leave you with this yeah because when you're gonna go and you're gonna see things happen you're gonna, you're gonna remember <laughs> You're gonna remember that this brother said this. Famine's next. They're looking to starve these no, people. Way of it. And, and they're bringing the mark of the beast, which is a microchip. Whatever you do, you don't take that microchip. Because if you take it, you will not be delivered. Yahweh is coming back to destroy this place and establish the kingdom of heaven My on brother. earth as it is in heaven. I'm gonna leave you with this. Let me tell you, I'm a mighty guy. guys. I'm a mighty guy. A, a, a chip is, do you believe like a chip is in that? There's microchips in everything. So but, the micro, but the microchip, but the microchip, there. Okay, the root word for the, the when you look at Revelation 13 verse 16, yeah. it says causes all men to have a mark. A matter of fact, let me just read it. Causes all men to have a mark. When you look at the root word in the Greek, it's karagma. Yeah. Okay, karagma. When you look at what karagma means, it means to carve out, to insert. They are going to insert this microchip. They're going to cause the whole world, the whole world to receive this. And that's why they're starving the world and doing all these things. Inflation. But, but you think they? the gas is going to stop? But who are they? The, the wicked. The earth is given no. into the rule yeah. the hands of the My wicked. Brother, I'm going to tell you, our battle is not against flesh and blood. You know that. Against spiritual spiritual exactly. wickedness in high places. If I right. met with you yeah. and you are against me, look beyond that. Uh, if uh, you meet somebody on the street and I'm looking at the kingdom. Look beyond no, I'm that. I'm looking beyond that. If you have the 
if you have the Christ in you, Hamashiach. Jesus already fought the battle. <laughs> you are fighting the Prince Fight right, behind right. the I, 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 Okay, listen. I'm going to leave you with this. For yourself to deliver the person behind that, you attack the force behind. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 30, 33, verse 33. Yeah. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Right? All these prophecies. When it cometh to pass, lo, meaning, look, it will come. Yeah. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. So when all hell's breaking loose, you're going to remember, this guy told me, no. I'm an Israelite. My brother, Only Israelites gonna be there are a lot of things I know, mm -hmm. but I was dumb. I started talking, giving it charge. Okay? There are a lot of things I know. Oh, Psalm 83? But one thing I know, mm -hmm. God loves his creation. Mm -hmm. he, he loves, he loves he Israelites. Loves, he he really loves. wants us to change. He's delaying his verdict. To, for, the, you see, for the you sealing, see, you for the elect us. to be sealed. For us. You, you for select, the elect no, to be no, sealed. Wait, you select Putin? Lord willing. The war of Putin? I told somebody. Putin's in the this, Bible. No, what this what's gonna happen with Putin? What's gonna happen with Putin? The, the last end is gonna mess up the whole world and he's gonna fly up and he wants to command the war in space in space. But God is not gonna allow him, he's gonna say, go back yes. in the world, you mess and he's gonna die in this one. America is gonna be destroyed with nuclear missiles. They won't. Biden is already covered. He's a man of God. I'm telling you, look at me. America is a man of God. Biden? Compare Biden with Moses. How old was Moses uh, when God yeah. used him? Uh, Compare yeah. Biden, the challenge he went through. Okay. Biden is American president who stays on his knee praying for his country. Okay. All the other ones are not. Even Trump was misusing the church. Okay. So you need to understand, you. look at the people. And Isaiah, Isaiah 13 verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, the Russians, against them, America, which shall not regard silver. They're not going to care how much money America tries and pays. Hey, don't, don't. And, and, for, and for gold, they shall not delight in it. So, it's prophesied in the Bible that missiles are going to be flown on America. Who's going to fly these missiles? Russia's going to lead the charge along but with their won't, allies. But he won't succeed. He won't. Yeah. You and I will talk and see. He's going to try to aim to shoot America. God has already protected them. Because Biden is walking in God's hand. The tree of corruption was trumped. Jeremiah 50 verse 9. Off. For lo, you I will know? raise and Listen, cause to come up against brother. Babylon, America, Do you know an assembly of great nations, Listen. all these nations. From the North Country, Russia and their allies. Let me tell you, my And they brother, shall not. I don't want to argue. And they, they no, it's just the corruption was so let, let, let the word come out. And, and Trump became the corruption with Russia. And they shall and set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows, the missiles, shall be as a mighty expert. As a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. These missiles are going to hit America. That's they the prophecy. Want, they want so to their arrows, their God arrows, and change. missiles. God can change. He loves America. And let me tell you, my brother, there is no nation on the world that has sent out missionary to Africa, around the world, to preach the gospel. So because of that, God is going to look into that. And we, the blacks and whom he's bringing up, if we go on our knees and we pray for a nation, God has the ability to change. Joel 3 verse 9. That's Proca happens. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. And this word here, Gentiles, is the heathen nations, the nations of the world, right? Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, the militaries. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. Your farming instrument, meaning come out of peace. No more peace. Yeah. Beat your plowshares into swords. And your pruning hooks, pruning hooks is what you use to prune trees. And your pruning hooks into spears, meaning we're coming out, the, out of peace. Yeah. Let the weak say I'm strong. So all these historically weak nations, China, Pakistan, uh, 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 Iran, all these nations are getting these nuclear missiles ready to shoot them on America the Great. They the won. beast the beast is the Roman Empire part two. Yeah. Okay, we'll be destroyed. Okay. okay. All right. But brother, keep praying. We're here, man. God loves us to pray for others. Even if they all he's only he's only he only Even came... Jesus, when somebody slapped them, you pray the Father forgive them. He only came for yeah. he no, only came for the Israelites. All right, take it easy man. Yeah. He said, Father, forgive them. You only came for the Israelites. <laughs> you remember that? When you Israel. Say that? <laughs> Israel alone, man. Israel alone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you can't you can't get through to Jake. He, 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 the spirit tells tells me he's Israelite. The spirit don't tell me he's Ham though. I was looking at his children. I'm like, this, this guy don't strike me as Ham. I was looking at his children, but then we saw his wife, right? But I'm but I'm like, I don't think this guy's Ham. I don't think this guy's Ham. But yeah, look, he couldn't receive it. He couldn't receive it. That's Loves that. everybody. Loves everybody. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Rashi Bashim Rakakadash. Right. Loves everybody. Let's go into some missiles since we since we stopped here. Wild. And you can't you can't tell them nothing. Right? We brought up praying out for these people. He said, he said, ah, oh, should we shouldn't we pray? We're trying to tell him his judgment. 
Wow. Call the law, y'all, but she's not shy, but she's not matter of fact, let's go to... the arrows just now. Which one? I went to Psalm 7 and 13 just to show him over the arrows. Oh, okay. He had also prepared for him instruments of death. Death, yeah. His arrows against the persecutors. Yeah, man. And then to actually show him the arrow in the name of the Yeah, man. It's crazy, y'all. Yeah, man. We'll grab a scripture here. Ezekiel. Right, we just got the blood off our hands. America's going to be saved. Yeah. Biden's chosen. He said Biden's chosen or something like that? Uh, that's the second time I've heard that. Wow. That's the second time I've heard that. It's Ezekiel 33. That's faith in the man, yo. Yeah, man. You said me scripture like last Ezekiel 33. Yeah, man. Alright? Yeah, faith in this. Ezekiel chapter 3. This is this is what this is what just happened here. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 3 and he said unto me son of man I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation right stubborn stiff neck you heard this guy we're arguing with him <laughs> I don't even know how long right but you heard him he's saying Jebus loves everybody but that's his Christian that's, that's plantation Christianity right rebellious right to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. Right, to this very day. Two thirds of our people. And they're gonna come in that, they're gonna come in that that, that vibration like this, 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 this two third came in. Conspiracy perceiving that he was Israelite. He didn't strike me as ham. But who knows? But he wasn't hearing it. Verse 4 For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them. Right, that's what we all hear. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. And that's what we're doing. We're telling them, Thus saith Yahweh power. You know, repent. This place is going to be destroyed. Isaiah 38 3 Isaiah, oh, trusting in it. Yeah, we, we read that last night. Let's get that. Isaiah 30, verse 1. We'll start at 1. Yeah. Right? Trusting in the shadow of Egypt. This guy was leaning on Biden just now. Yeah, leaning Biden, on Biden, Biden man. Biden's going to save the whole world. What's wrong with this guy? Right? Isaiah 30, verse 1. Woe, meaning destruction, to the rebellious children. Well, who are the rebellious children? Two thirds of our people. We just read rebellious house. That's that's the that's the that's the that's the vibration. Two thirds of our people comes in rebellious. Can't tell them nothing. This man kept saying, "Jesus is for every," and we we brought out four or five scriptures that he's only for the house of Israel, beginning with the elect. Flew over his head. He never heard one. He didn't hear it. His ears, were, his ears were locked up. We'll get that next, Lord willing. In Isaiah chapter uh, 9. Right? His ears were locked. Right? Isaiah chapter 9. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's Christina, guy. Okay? Huh? Yeah. Isaiah chapter 9. Yeah, it is. That's what she said, oh my God. Yeah, that's her. Isaiah chapter 6. We're gonna get that next. First, we're gonna go into uh, Isaiah 30. Yeah, that's Christina. Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30, verse 1. And it reads Woe to the rebellious children. Woe, meaning destruction. To the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering. Right? But not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, right? Covering with what? Oh, I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm an American. I'm, I'm a, I'm a so-called black. That's what they're covered with. They're not, they, they, they don't know that they're Israelites, right? And they add sin to sin. They're in their iniquity. Now, watch to go down into Egypt, America, and have not asked at my mouth, right? They trust in America to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, the ruler. The government, this guy said Biden is a chosen, right? He strengthened himself in the strength of Pharaoh, right? And to trust in the shadow of Egypt, the shadow of Egypt, the shadow of Egypt. Egypt was built on idols and slavery, right? They worship many gods. Do as thou wilt, sacrifice this, worship that, right? America, do as thou wilt, sacrifice this, many gods. Alphabet boy this, alphabet boy that. Right? The shadow of Egypt, America. 
Revelation 11 verse 8 says, Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, America. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh, the strength of the leadership, the governments, the rulership, the Rome, the strength of Rome 2.0, the trust in Rome, you know, let me take this device, this grain of rice, so I can keep my job, so I can keep my home, right? Therefore, therefore shall the trust, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion, right? Your demise, trusting in it, right? Right? Per they're going to perish. And, and, and he's a two-third. He ain't going to repent. And you're going to perish by famine, by sword, by bloodshed, nothing by teeth of beasts. Drifting of rocks and nothing is hitting him. Right, yeah. We're throwing, we're, throwing, we're throwing the kitchen sink at him. Right? Isaiah 9, verse 10. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy. His ears were heavy, man. And shut their eyes, he couldn't see. Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, heart be mine, and convert and be healed, right? If they hear this, they're gonna convert and be healed. If they don't, right? And if they hear it, they're gonna repent. Right? Yeah, trusting, trusting. Scripture say, never trust thine enemy. <laughs> never trust thine enemy. Totally trust his enemy. To bail, yeah. him, to bail him out. You? Yeah. That's mine. Yeah. Couldn't tell him nothing. Sirach 12. Verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth. So is his wickedness, right? You can't trust our enemy, man. And we know beginning with Esau, Edom, he is the chief enemy. The primary, the number one, number one on the radar, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yashai. Right? We gave him warning, we got the blood off, his, off of our hands. Let's get that. Ezekiel 33. Ezekiel 33. Ezekiel 33, verse 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman. Well, who are the watchmen? The hopeful elect. And what are they watching for? The prophecies. And running and blowing the trumpet unto the house of Israel. To Israel. Israel being a people for a place. All throughout the scriptures is Israel, 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 Israel. Right? Unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth I warn them from me. Right? These are the Lord's words. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. These are his words. Give them warning from me. These are not our words. These are the words of the Mosai Yahweh. Right? Give them warning from me. So we're warning you. We're warning two-thirds out here. Repent. The destruction is coming. That's what we're out here saying. Right? Verse 8. When I say unto the wicked, right, you two-thirds, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. We told him he's going to die if you don't repent. We told him. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, right? So if we don't warn him, he's gonna die, he's gonna die in his iniquity, right? But his blood will I require at thine hand, right? And his blood's gonna be required at our hands, the watchmen. So we have to warn. Verse 8, verse 9, Salakia. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way, to turn from it, warn the two-thirds, repent, like we were trying to do just now, what we're out here doing, prophesying to the wind, right? If he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, right? So if he don't, if he don't repent, this guy heard the names. He heard the names, Yahweh, 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 he heard about the mark of the beast, he heard that America, the rate going to be destroyed, 
And you heard that Yahweh Shai came for the, for the people, the children of Israel, Israel only. If you don't repent, he's going to be destroyed. But his blood is off our hands. Right? Right? Yeah, that's it on that. Bracha fi Yahweh. Bracha fi Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rakaha. Kodash. Stay prayed up, prayed on ceasing. Kwam Yashirala. Wah, Abad, Abal. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.